Okay. All right. Uh, welcome to Chaotic Beagle Entertainment. I am chaos as always. Uh, this is video number two. Uh, we just finished video one, unboxing a brick of the Hero Clicks Marvel House of X. Uh, this is going to be the second brick coming along to unbox, see what we get. Um, if you all have watched the first video in that one, we had some nice pulls. We ended up getting the nice Magneto. Uh, we got a unique uh, Hope Summers. We ended up pulling two primes out of that set uh, with Zorn and Bishop. So with no further ado, uh, please hit the like, subscribe, notifications, hit all that good stuff. Come back, join us for more of this kind of stuff. We'll try and keep running with it as much as possible. Uh, if you like what you see here, let me know. You know, I'll try and do more of whatever everybody kind of lets me know they enjoy. Um, we'll be doing more with Magic as well with the new Kaldheim set coming out. Um, and got a few other things on the line as well. So please do, you know, hit those notifications. That way you get notified whenever I do some videos. But let's get to cracking these and see what we end up getting on this side. So, um, went and did a little more research so I have a little more understanding of what we are getting in these boxes. Uh, and then, so I should be able to, uh, kind of uh, look a little more knowledgeable, you know, with, uh, opening these boxes. Um, I don't think I showed the backside last time. This, there, is one of the Super Chase pieces with the, uh, Old Man Phoenix. So uh, I've seen that one. Uh, really hope I might be able to pull something like that. It'd be really, really dope, really cool. Um, but I'm kind of excited to check this out, see what we get. So let's get to going here. Number one. All right. Oh, a lot of the same characters as last time. Uh, we have from my right to left here Rachel Gray. We have old Wolverine. And then, we, oh, we have Sunspot with a Raza and another Sinister Clone. So up there all right make sure we ain't got nothing missing in there and then all right so we have rachel gray who is a 40 point piece and then let me make sure everything's good cool and then Mr. Wolverine, the 60 pointer, and then Sunspot. All right, this one is a version between 75 points and 35 points. Uh, and then we have Raza, Raza, R A Z A, not sure how to say that one. Correct me in the comments if you like. I don't mind it at all. And then the Sinister Clone. We also have, so these are random pulls as well as to whether or not you get the team cards. But we have the Sunspot 25.01 team up card. So, very nice, very cool. So these cards are also a random drop basically as much as anything else so you can randomly get the team up cards to go along with the different characters um some of these cards depending on which character are somewhere somewhere around you know 10 15 20 upwards of 30 and 40 dollars for just the card the team up card by itself not even with the figures 
Um, so that is something as well to kind of keep an eye out for when doing these bo unboxings and uh, opening up any boosters that you get. So, not too shabby. So the Sunspot, I think there were previous models, they usually made them see-through, but this one, he is just all blacked out. A little bit of white eyes and everything else, so, yeah, we'll go ahead and put him on. Click number one after I'm the camera over here. So, we'll switch it up real quick so everybody can kind of get a look, so. Not bad, just all blacked out. So, not too shabby. Yes, I right. cool, cool. All right, switch back here, and we'll grab the next one. Box number two. Oh snap, here we go. We got a, another Magneto coming through. So we got another copy of Rachel Gray. Uh, we got Wolverine once again, which, let me see, this is number 004. That's number 004. So, uh, same one we got before. We got Magneto. Then we got, oh, we actually have the Nightcrawler. Uh, in the previous video, we were getting basically with this sculpt. Except it was a character from a alternate universe named Cardinal. Uh, same sculpt, he was red instead of black, but yeah, cool. There we go. So not bad, not too shabby. And then we got Psylocke again. So hey, let's see, we'll throw. We'll throw Nightcrawler over here in front of the camera. Everybody get a look at him. So, alright. Let me make sure I'm not missing out anything. And then we'll... We'll just switch it up real quick so everybody can take a look. So, okay, there's apparently two characters that have the Krakoa card. So we have Rachel Gary again, Wolverine, Magneto, and that's the 150, 90, or 25 version. Then we have Nightcrawler, 60 points, not too shabby. He's got the Krakoan revival, getting the X-Men into position, saving mutant kind one mutant at a time. Very nice. Very dope. And then I believe that's Psylocke. She's 50 points as well. So, very hyped to see that. Very cool. And that Nightcrawler is a super rare. So that's not too bad. Yeah. Dope. I'm cool with that, man. All right. Box number three. We have... Oh, oh, we got... Oh, 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 oh. Chase. You got a chase? Baby! Doggy dog! What is it? Apocalypse. Oh, baby, baby! Ho, oh, oh. ho! Boop, boop. Alright. Hey, bro. Move over. Just. Uh, I, I cool, cool man. I was cool. It's cool. Woohoo, baby! That is what I am talking about. Woo, woo! Yes. Mmm. That's what I'm talking about. I, right, I, right. getting ahead of myself here. Getting ahead of myself. Hang on, hang on. Yeah. Mmm. Alright, so this pack, we have Marvel Girl, which we had before. 
we have Mr. Apocalypse reaching out to us, coming over to hang out for a little while. Uh, and then we have Hope Summer's Unique. We have Elixir once again. And then we have another copy of the uh, number four Wolverine up in the house. Oh, oh man. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. All right, we got some more Krakoan revivals. All right, so we got uh, Marvel Girl, who is also Jean Grey. Uh, and we have the big Mr. Apocalypse. All right, so we're going to, we got a chase here. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of go down the list. So we got Mr. Apocalypse at 160 or 70 points on his team dial. Or on his dial, uh, he has the trait Krakoan Revival, uh, refer to the Krakoan Revival Bystander cards. So we got one of those in with the booster. Uh, let's see here, we got Excalibur, Mystical, or Protectors, uh, but only triggers during ranged attacks. He is protected from, Mystic, uh, from the Mystic Team ability. Oh man. So this is kind of wild. It doesn't even have his name as Apocalypse. It just has the letter A on there. Look at that. Just the letter A. Just the letter A. <laughs> the artist formerly known as Apocalypse. All right, he's got that. And then he's got a fickle and finite resource. Uh, when a standard character is KO'd. Now, it just says a standard character is KO'd. It doesn't matter whose team it's on. I, I, I'm assuming. I'm not sure. Um, Apocalypse. Uh, give Apocalypse a crystal token. If that character has the mystical keyword, give him two crystal tokens instead. Free action. Remove a crystal token. If you do, choose Apocalypse or an adjacent friendly character with the X-Men keyword and a standard damage power. The chosen character can use that power until your next turn. Nasty. Uh, and then he's got another white ability. Uh, my position on the Quiet Council grants me certain rights, uh, which he has a stop click. He has eight clicks of life. Uh, has a stop click at number eight, where he has invulnerability and mastermind. When this character is first revealed, after resolutions, uh, roll a d6. When this click is first revealed, sorry about that. When this click is first revealed, after resolutions, roll a d6 and heal apocalypse of a number of clicks equal to the result. Not half of the result as it would normally. Equal to the result. So you can hit the last click and then roll a six on a d6 and get healed all the way, you know, nearly all the way back. That would put him from a, that would put him back at click two. So, very, very nasty, very nasty. So, we'll, we'll go through, let me switch this up real quick and then we'll go back to Apocalypse and I'll show him off a little bit. So there's his card and then the back of it there. He's got so many powers, so many different abilities and everything very very nice and then ah oh, let's let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and show off the big man himself here so woo, baby got that flaming fist gonna come for you that's a really really good looking piece too the big old flowy cape. And yep, there he goes. Oh, oh, oh baby. We're, we're gonna leave him right there for a little bit. We're gonna leave the man right there. Appreciate him coming out, representing the Chaotic Beagle Entertainment Club over here. Woo, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right, we'll leave Apocalypse right there to chill. We're going to go ahead and keep on moving through. Let me switch up here. We're going to keep on moving through. We're going to open up some more boxes. Hey, hey well, let's just say we don't get another prime or something. You never know. Hey, percentages, that's it's all it is. But we'll keep on rolling through. All right. So let's see here. Making 
sure, making sure. All right, so here we have, okay, so we have the regular sunspot. So I guess that one, this, that was the common, this is the uncommon sunspot. Uh, and then we have Shard and Tessa. I'm not sure who Tessa is. And then we have another unique Hope Summers and Doug Lock. Doug Lock, Doug Lock. So there goes that crew. Very nice, not too shabby at all. So, all right, we got them. Let's pop off a little bit of card action here. So we got Sunspot, Mr. Sunspot is 35 points. And then we got Shard for 45. Tessa, true name, unknown. Uh, she is 65 points. Uh, and then we have Hope Summers, 50 pointer, and Doug Lock at a 60 pointer. So very nice. Not bad, not bad. Something a little different. A few, few of the same names and a few new ones there. So that's the first Tessa we've gotten, and that's the first uh, regular version Sunspot. We have the all, also have the other version there as well. So not bad, not bad. Oh, yeah. Still so hyped about that uh, apocalypse coming through. That is... Man. And I think I looked online. I believe that one's going upwards. I'm pretty sure that one's going upwards of 130 or so. Round about. Alright. So we got Marvel Girl, Jean Grey again. Oh, we got Rogue this time. And then we got Mr. Sinister. We have Corsair and the common version of Bishop. So we got those coming through. So, yeah. So let's see here. We got, got some of the same ones. And then, oh. More Krakoan revival cards. Oh, I'm gonna have a stack of them. I'll put them up like wallpaper behind me. Okay, so we got uh, Marvel Girl, who is Jean Grey. So we got Rogue. Okay, Rogue is a little different. Uh, she is 90 or 60 points. Oh, I'm dropping stuff here. So. <laughs> We got Rogue. She has Excalibur, Mystical, Excalibur, Mystical Protectors. Uh, only triggers range attack. She's protected from the Mystic capability or the Mystic team ability. Huh. So cool. And then we got Mr. Sinister once again, 85 points. Uh, Corsair, who was 60. And then the uh, common, uh, uncommon version of Bishop which was 60 points as well. So, not bad, not bad at all. Kinda like the, the Rogue piece. It's got her, her classic, uh, got her classic costume look on there. So, that's very cool, very nice. Yeah. All righty. We got something else going on here. Hang on. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Oh. Oh. Who do we have in... Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. All right. So we have... So first up, we got wrapped up in the bubble wrap. Is... Get her out without messing her up. Come on, baby girl. Come on. There we go. All right. So we got Storm. Uh -huh. Very nice. We'll put her over here next to old. We'll, we'll, we'll give Apocalypse a little bit of a break. We'll just have him step back. He, he ain't leaving. We'll just have him step back a little bit. So. 
Yeah, we got Storm coming up there. Uh, and then we have Domino. We have our fourth copy of Havoc. A second copy of Cyclops. Oh, and our first copy of Forge. All right. And, all right, so we got Storm. She is 85 points. Nice. Okay, and then we got Domino again at 60. Mr. Havoc at 50 points. And then Greco and Bystanders. Uh, we got the Cyclops, 75 points. But we were actually able to pull the Cyclops team card. So that's very nice as well. Again, these are just random pickups. You don't always get it with those characters. Uh, but we are able to get uh, Cyclops' blue uh, team-up card. So that's dope. And then Forge for 60 points. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So that's cool. And then here, we'll take a quick second and uh, take a look at Storm here. We got her kind of floating up. Oh, God. Yeah, not too bad at all. So they got her cape just kind of whipping around there. And Very nice, very nice. So cool. Yeah, good lord. I'm gonna make a whole nother stack for all these Krakoan revivals. Bystander card. These things are everywhere. Buy a case of these, you can recarpet a whole room with all the uh, all the bystanders. Just like man, just they're everywhere. All right, yeah, yeah, we'll put those aside. All right, so we're gonna go for pack number seven here. Oh yeah, switcheroo. Gonna do the switcheroo. Alright. So we have. Oh, we got something different in here. Cool. Let's see here. First off, from my right to left, we got Sage, followed by Kid Omega, followed by a Sinister Clone with Richter and the Sunspot again which is the same uh, common version that we got before. So, yeah. So that's the first Richter we've gotten and the first uh, Kid Omega. We got Sage before and then we got Mr. Sunspot earlier on today in this video. All right, so we got Sage, who's a 40-point piece. Kid Omega for 65 points. And then we get the Sinister Clone at 25. Richter at 40. And Mr. Sunspot at 75-35. So not shabby, not too shabby. I like the way the, uh, the Richter piece, he's got... Cool little energy and coming off of his hands and everything. Cool little sculpt, cool little model. We'll just make uh, Storm kind of step back there for a second. We'll just put him up there. So I can kind of check him out. So cool, not bad. Something, a couple of new ones in there. Which the Kid Omega is a rare. Surprisingly. Alright. Pack number eight. Come on, baby. Let's see what we got. Uh, oh, we got another prime. 
which is the same prime we got before. But I'll take it. I'll take it. It's fun. I don't care. All right. From my right to my right to left, we got Corsair with our first Vulcan. No neck pinching. Don't pinch him. Uh, and then we got, oh, we got a common version of Forge. And then we have Cypher. And the Prime Bishop. So, hey, cool, very nice, very cool. So we got a couple of those. So not bad at all. And we'll just do a quick review on them as well. I think we had Corsair earlier. Uh, Vulcan, here we go, Vulcan. Oof, 140 or 75 points for Vulcan. Not too shabby. So this forge is 30 points. And then we have Cypher for 35 points. She only has three clicks of health, so that is very squishy. She, he, oh, he, Douglas Ramsey. So we got that, and then we have Bishop, Lucas Bishop, for 40 points, and that's the prime version. So, not bad, not bad. Again, the sculpts on these are a little bit hardier, a little bit thicker, a little bit larger, so um, I know that they were trying to do that, so they're a little bit... You know, uh, look a little more durable, like they'll hold up a little better. So, that's very nice. Uh, that'll work out. So, yep. That's what we got there. Coming down to the last two packs. So, we've, in the course of 18 packs, have gotten three primes, a chase, and three uniques. So, not bad. Not a bad haul at all. Check. Holy crap! That's cool. Holy crap! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! All right, all right, Richter, you you're gonna you're coming off the stage. Coming to the stage now. We have apocalypse. The super rare. Ho, 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 baby. There we go. Take a look at that. Ho, ho. Let's, let's put them in front of the solid, the, the good can. Here we go. Yep. Yes. That, ladies and gentlemen, is... Apocalypse. Ooh, baby. So this is one that actually has his name Apocalypse, not the artist formerly known as Apocalypse. Man, oh man. Alright, alright. So let's go. We got uh so we got Apocalypse in the first spot. Uh second spot we have Chamber, which is our second chamber. We have Trinary. Then we have Wolverine, number four again, and another copy of Bishop. So there's, there's what's left of that booster right there. Oh my God, yeah. I've gotten what, five, six copies of them? So we will start off, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and just go down and, and run with. So we've got Apocalypse. He is 150 or 75 points. So he has, uh, let me see, eight clicks of health. And then he has two star abilities, no immortal everlasting. The first time Apocalypse would be KO'd. Instead, turn him to click number eight, then roll a D6 and heal him equal to half the result. He is protected from Pulse Wave. Pulse Wave does nothing to this man. Uh, second trait, and lo, there were four horsemen. Leadership. When Apocalypse uses it, after resolutions, you may move a friendly character with the horseman or X-Men keyword up to half the result of the D6 roll. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
Uh, and then he has special ability, the world's first mutant perfected through celestial technology, penetrating psychic blast, steel energy, giant reach of three. Nasty, yeah. Uh, and then he's got another uh, white ability, all stories end, yet my story goes on. Toughness, regeneration, but roll 2d6 and choose one to be the result. So you can choose the higher of the 2d6s that rolls. Man. Woo, baby. So we got this card there. Let me switch up and show you guys the card real quick. Won't be the greatest, but hey. So, here we go there. Back of it. Very nice, very nice. And then, ooh, let's go over to the piece and make him do a little spin here. And that's a really, really good looking sculpt too. I like that a lot. He's got the tubes coming off the back of him and everything. That is just, man. And that is just wild that we pulled both of these out of one brick. The other brick, nothing impressive. This brick, just blowing it off the off the charts, off the just completely out of the water. Woo, man! Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. So we got the super rare and the chase of Apocalypse both. So, hey, don't get too much better than that. Uh, oh, and I did not go through the rest of them. So we got Apocalypse. Uh, and then we had Chamber, and then we have Trinary, whose real name is Trinary, uh, at 30 points, and then we have Wolverine number four once again, and da -da -da, Wolverine number four once again, Bishop once again, and then this time we got the Wolverine uh, team card. So we have that as well. Not too shabby. Those are random pulls. Uh, so we got that as well. So not bad. Not a bad brick at all. We still have one pack left. But I really don't know. Really don't know what they could have put in here. That uh, what we might get in here. But you never know. Let's, let's rip this last one open and find out. So... Oh, are we missing a piece, or is it... Uh, let's see. I think it might have just rolled to the back of that. Yeah, yeah. It just rolled to the back. So, oh. Oh. Alright, let me see. Nothing left in there. Alright, so... In our first spot here, we have Zorn, but this is the regular. Uh, so he has... Blue Flames for his hair. Instead of the orange that the Prime version had. So we've got the common Zorn, then we have a rare Professor Professor X. Ugh. We got Professor X, and then we got ooh, Moira X with the unique. And then we got Corsair once again, and Rachel Gray. So we got those coming up as well. So not too shabby, not too shabby at all. And this Xavier. Professor X is kind of wild. Let me pull him out and throw him in front of the camera over here. But that is very interesting the way that he's got like an energy pulse that's kind of coming off the back of him. Kind of wild. Alright, the final lens, we might have to scoot you to the side over here. He's wearing cerebral. Yeah, he's got the cerebral helmet on. And he has like that energy coming off of him. I'm not sure. So, very nice, very cool. Let's uh, switch it up real quick so everybody can take a look there. So, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, a little bit of warm water will fix him up. But, alright, let's go. Let's see what we have here. Alright, we're going bystanders. Bystanders away! Alright, so we have Zorn, and this is again the common version at 90 and 30 points. And then we have 
have Professor X, who is Charles Xavier for 75 points. And then after that, we have Moira X, and she is 75 points. Uh, and then we have Corsair once again, and Rachel Gray once again. So not too bad, not too bad. We got the, the, the Zorn coming in. We got some dual apocalypse action coming up in here. So uh, very hyped, very happy. That is very awesome. Really glad that I got this box. Really happy with that. Um, that's just awesome right there. A uh, lot of value, some really, really dope, dope figures, some really awesome pieces. So really happy to have those come through. Uh, got the rare, uh, excuse me, rare storm sitting on, on board there. So really happy, really excited about the pulls that I've gotten. Um, so really, that'll pretty much do it. Uh, if you would, hit that like, subscribe, you know, follow me, ask questions, comment below. Uh, last video I asked to hear what your all's favorite comic book was. Uh, this time, let's uh, do your favorite uh, villain. Let me know what your favorite villain is. If it's the same, uh, it, 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 you know, if you like uh, the same character or whatever it might be, hey, put some details in there. But uh, let's go with villain. Post your, your favorite villain down below. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, like, subscribe, hit them notifications so that way we do some more unboxings. If everybody likes this and they get a lot of people that check in on it, then I will most definitely do what I can to try and pick up another case. Uh, and I will probably in the future try to do some more sets as well. Uh, so please do hit that like, subscribe, let us know what you think, come back. Uh, the music that I'm going to use for this as well is a uh, uh, person known as Jax Hacks. Uh, check him out. I'm gonna put some links in the description below if you like the music that you're gonna hear in the background. Uh, check that out. Let me know what you think. Uh, otherwise, you all have a good weekend, a good week, a happy new year, and uh, we'll talk with you. Hopefully, see you guys again. Come back and enjoy and have some fun with us. Thank you very much. Y'all have a good one.